one million Americans have died while serving in the military. Most of them did this on a voluntary basis. Many of them did so fighting against people that they had never known and for people whom they had never met. I think it's important in the upcoming days here at Memorial Day to give your thanks and respect and gratitude to those who have fallen and to those who are currently serving and those who are veterans of the U.S. military. I think it's important to do so because these people who serve our country do so by giving up their freedoms and their rights that many of us take for granted. They do so in the prime years of their life and many of them give the ultimate gift of giving their life for their nation and their freedoms. Memorial Day was created to observe those who had fallen in the Civil War. Shortly after there, after it became expanded to observe those who had fallen in any American involved war and also to pay respect and tribute to veterans and currently serving servicemen and women. I think it's important to do this because these people serve our country in very long days, in harsh and uncomfortable environments. They have less than satisfactory living environments. And they do so without the protection of OSHA or the Department of Labor. They give up these freedoms just as they do their freedom of speech, their right to a fair trial, and their protection from double jeopardy. They also do this while they're in the prime years of their youth, when many people are going through traditional college experiences or finding themselves traveling abroad in Europe. They're spending their days waking up to exercise and then to clean and then to work a long day and then to end it by cleaning and doing more exercise. I think it's also important to give a personal, sincere thank you to these veterans and these currently serving family service members. I think it says more than just sticking a sticker on the back of your car that says we support our troops made in China. So on this upcoming Memorial Day, instead of packing Pride of Lake or seeing Iron Man 2 or going for a hike, try to go to your local cemetery and pay tribute and place flowers on the grave of a fallen soldier, marine, sailor, or airman. If that makes you uncomfortable, just go to a local parade and track down the veteran afterwards and thank them for all that they gave and any disabilities or injuries they may have incurred protecting your rights and liberties. Or just volunteer to help at a veteran's organization such as U.S. Vets. I can tell you that being a veteran of nine years in the U.S. Navy, it means a lot to you when you get a sincere thank you face to face from a person rather than just seeing on the bottom of a sign or a business card. So again, this Memorial Day, please take a moment to give thanks to those who have served and given so much to the country for so little in return. Thank you.